John gives us some practical help too. I'm going to tell you, he said, how you can test yourself, things you can see in yourself, so that you will know when you see them that you really do belong to God. You can test yourself. Now, let's read it so you can see in the actual words what he's saying. Verse 13. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. Colon. There were no punctuation marks in the early uh, 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 writings. There was no punctuation in Greek. But our translators are helping us out. Now what that colon means is that what comes after the colon finishes and, exp and explains what comes before the colon. So this is how we know, colon, he has given us his, his spirit, the Holy Spirit. So if you have the spirit of God in your life, you can know, you can be confident that you really belong to God. Now, I think he's referring back to uh, the teaching in John's Gospel, chapters 14 through 16. And what happens is Jesus promised to come in the Holy Spirit. So I'm not going to leave you alone as orphans, but I'm going to come to you. And when I come to you, I will be like a defense attorney. I'll stand by your side as an advocate, and I will defend you against all the things you're having to face. When the Holy Spirit comes, he will give you power. He will give you strength. He will remind you of my teachings. And he will convict you and the world of sin, of righteousness, so sin, what sin is, and that you are a sinner, of righteousness, how to be right with God, and how to escape the judgment. That's what the Holy Spirit will do. So... If you see the Holy Spirit working in your life as a believer, then you know that you belong to God. Have you ever felt guilty about a sin? Have you ever been empowered by God to go and make a sin right? To apologize for your sin? Have you ever been in a place in your life when you felt powerless, but you felt the work of the Holy Spirit in your life to strengthen you and lead you on? Now, Paul says that every believer has received the baptism of the Spirit, which gives you not only a gifting, a way of serving in God's kingdom, but also as a way of God being with you now and giving you strength. I was reading uh, the diaries of John Wesley. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? John Wesley, I learned two things about John Wesley reading his diaries. First of all, he was sick all the time. He writes every time, every, almost every day, the day I had nasal drip. <laughs> I'm serious. The day my stomach killed me all day long. The day I had no energy or strength and stayed in bed the entire day. He lived to be 87 years old. So I want you to know being a hypochondriac is not going to shorten your life. But Wesley also said this, often in his diaries, and he was the man who founded Methodism one of the greatest Christians who ever lived, a man was a powerful preacher. This is what he said in his diaries. I am a worm, I am a wretch, I am the worst of all sinners. And he said this over and over and over again. Now, it wasn't because he was guilty. It wasn't because he didn't know forgiveness. It simply meant that he was aware because of the Spirit's presence about his own sinfulness. So if you see the evidence of the Spirit in your life, even if it's conviction of sin, it's a good thing. It proves you belong to God. It proves that you're real. And then, keep on reading. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Meaning there's a theology, there's a thing that's believed, that's known, that God sent His Son, Jesus is God's Son, He's the Messiah, and, and you know that that's the content of your faith. So if you believe this thing, if you acknowledge that Jesus is a son of God, if you believe it, then God will live in you and you will live in God. So you have the spirit. You believe in something about Jesus and you profess it with your mouth. If anyone confesses with their mouth Jesus Christ is Lord and believes in the heart that he was raised from the grave, you will be saved. Not maybe, not hopefully, but you will be saved. 